morning to you all out there and welcome to another video. Now I'm at a place um, called Climping which is down on the Sussex coast, bit of a schlep to get to today. Tide's out, I uh, had to walk probably about half a mile from the car dragging all my gear. Winds northeasterly, am I going to catch a lot today? Really don't know but it was such a lovely day I thought you know what I'm going to come down here. Never ever been here, never ever fished it. Sandy beach, loads of stones and crap everywhere and one or two people out here not too bad because it is as I say a bit off the beaten track although I've just had two numpties with a big empty beach and I am not exaggerating they were standing about eight yards away from where my uh, setup was taking bloody selfies in all of the beach so ahead of me you can see the general layout of the beach. I'm glad I came down here at low tide because there are loads of snags so that's the reason why I walked away away because I couldn't have fished up near the car park but here's okay there's a few little stones not too bad and then we're out onto sand. Now the wind has gone round to the east and it's making my rather large ears very cold so I'm going to have to put a hat on but I must have something written on me like, you know when a fox is running around, it, it can sense a chicken. Well, I think these people, when they're out walking, can sense me. Because I've had the people up there who were taking photographs of themselves, literally probably five metres away from where I was, at the big empty beach. And now there's a lady who's looking for rocks all around just here. When it's completely clear the other way. What is that about? Is she hoping I'm going to talk to her? I don't know. Um, who knows? But there we go. Way off in the distance, and I don't know if this will pick it up or not, but we'll have a go and see. There are loads of wind turbines. Um, crab pot, I think, out there. It won't be a net, I would assume it's a crab pot. Two black flags blowing on it. Or... Would you get crabs around here? I don't know. I suppose it's maybe some stony outcrops out there, but uh, very picturesque if you're a photographer. And then on the beach, there are loads of lugworm cars, so quite a good place to um, come down here on a low tide and maybe pump some bait. I just wanted to give a, a bit of a shout out to the unknown fisherman. He, um, I don't know where he lives, but he's sort of in the Sheppey type area. And um, he did a cracking uh, video out in a kayak the other day. Really, really cool, catching loads and loads of place. But he very kindly um, subscribed and I really appreciate it, Jack. But if you get a chance, have a look at his video because um, it's really well shot and he actually catches fish, which is something that I would like to do, but it hasn't really happened very, very much recently. I'd also like to say a big um, thumbs up to George and Louie. Well, I know you watch, fellows, so while you're watching this, that's for you. Um, get your dad to chuck you a fiver because you deserve it and I hope school's not too uh, tedious for you but my ears are getting really really cold um, and easterlies mm, I don't know there is that saying isn't there when the wind's in the east the fish bite the least but there's always that you never know moment isn't there although if I was trying to feed my family uh, yeah I think I'd have to stop by the fishmongers on the way home. I've been fishing now for about half an hour and um, all the uh, dog walkers are out with the requisite a throw the ball yellow or green bull thrower thing. They've, uh, particularly the Labradors, have taken an amount of interest in the bait and the sandwich department in my bivvy so I have to kind of keep an eye 
and it would seem that uh, some of the owners just ignore the dogs, even though the dog very obviously is rootling through my rucksack. Um, they didn't seem that concerned, but fortunately I managed to save the sandwich, although they did snaffle a couple of lugworms. Why you'd want to eat salted lugworm as a dog, I really don't know. I think there's a supply of um, comedy people who they are going in a bit of a loop, putting different clothes on and then coming and standing down here. <laughs> It's every other beach I go to I've got swimmers, but obviously the swimmers have sent ahead special messages to, you know what, that no fish man is down on the beach. Get down there now. If um, Richard from West London, who uh, makes me chuckle with some of your comments, if you're listening, chap, I hope you're okay. I haven't heard from you recently. So, um, hopes all good at your neck of the woods. Okay, I think it's real in time um, and see what isn't on the end of this road. Now, I have changed bait. So we now have a mackerel and a mackerel. And we will see No, no, not at this time of the year. I've never ever been there before, so I have no idea what might be out there. But at the moment, not a lot. Not a lot. Thank you. It's one of them days today. Wind has now gone around to the southeast, and um, I think the fisherman's tales are true because my bait, nothing had had it, not even a crab, and you'd think the big crabs didn't rocks and things down here, but not even there, you can see. I was watching uh, a live um, down on the beach with a chap um, called CJ, or his channel Fishing with CJ, and he was talking about sea spiracy and that there was, he believed, uh, an agenda behind it, and that people like us humble fishermen would be given a hard time down on the beach. And uh, I had a very nice lady who about 10 minutes ago came along and said what was I doing and I said well the clue is in the fishing rod and uh, she said oh well that, 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 that's not very nice on the fish um, I said well that, that may be your view but you know I catch them and I put them back um, and uh, she said I was being cruel and um, I was harming fish and I said to her well are you a vegetarian and she went no I said well your dogs? I said, what, what, what do they eat? She said, oh, they eat um, canned dog food. I said, really? What, what, like what? She said, well, beef and liver and all that sort of stuff. So, I really couldn't get why she seemed to think that putting animals in cans was any better or any worse than me fishing and putting the fish back. I kind of don't get it. But I took a leaf out of my wife's book and I was very, very polite and I wished her a lovely day even though I was thinking other things. But there's now the strangest folk out there, is there really? Um, but, you know, we're all allowed our views, I suppose. Well, I mentioned swimmers earlier on today and you will see ahead of me a lady with a swimming cap on. And again, I have walked half a mile from the car to this big, open, empty beach and she has to swim next to the fishing rod. Is it in the while swimmers manual that when swimming in cold water if there's a fisherman nearby go and swim there what is all that about i really don't get it or are we like flocks i think that's what it is we see one and then we think you know what we're gonna join the flock 
I'm now having that Robson Green moment where he fishes all day and catches nothing and I'm now bleeding with fish gold just for one fish. It's all I want is one fish because I'm going to have to seriously rename my fishing channel. No fish with pool. But that's not going to make for a very interesting watching. And um, it is bloody tedious. I cannot tell you all the effort the organising, the packing, the trundling, the dragging of all the gear, the getting down here, the putting it all together, all for nothing. Um, but then again, I suppose if I was sat down here on my own without any of this, people would think there was something wrong with me. So it's a good excuse to be out in the open. I just had a friend of mine send me a, uh, a message, uh, and I hope he's joking. He said I should recall the channel sea fishing with an idiot but I do today I have to say feel a little bit like that um, he did have another suggestion sort of around the colour of my red top but it's not one I really want to repeat in a public forum but uh, thank you um, Ed if you're watching this for those wise wise words Now, not a lot's really been going on, I have to say. I'm going to give it another maybe hour. Then I'm going to do the walk of shame back to the car and then the drive of shame and hope. And I'm going to reward myself with a can of cider. I just met, which kind of has made today because I met a few nice people who've been mooched around on the beach. But I met a chap who uh, I was idly asking him, what does, he, what does he do? And he makes crop circles. So I have met a real live alien. So Will, Jack, if you're watching this, really, really interesting. Really good to have met you. Um, and will make my wife chuckle. But he, um, years ago I was driving along a road on the way sort of from where I live to Worthing. It's a big area of land that drops down full of cornfields. And I was talking to him about I'd seen a crop circle there. And he was the chap who made it. That was back sort of 1995. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm chuffed. I've met an alien. I know who makes crop circles. There you go. It's getting very warm now. And um, the wind is still easterly. And the rod is still doing absolutely nothing. 